last week, talks with North Korea broke down after the country announced that they had no plans to get rid of their nuclear weapons. But they did come back with a counteroffer, and I think it's safe to say talks are back on. New signs tonight that the canceled summit between President Trump and Kim Jong-un could soon be back on. But NBC News has obtained exclusive information from three U.S. officials that a recent intelligence assessment concluded North Korea has no intention of giving up its nukes anytime soon, but may offer to open up a Western hamburger franchise in its capital as a gesture of goodwill. Yeah, okay, that's interesting, okay. So instead of shutting down its nuclear program, North Korea is instead offering to open a burger joint. Yes, yes. I don't even know how that makes sense. Like, I like to think that that was intended to be Kim Jong-un's opening gambit, you know, a ridiculous low ball offer to get the ball rolling. But then Trump heard hamburgers and he was like, we're in, we're in. Where's my Nobel Prize? Nobel, Nobel, burger, Nobel, burger. A burger restaurant is such an absurd come down from complete denuclearization. It's almost like if you would ask a woman to marry you and she says, no, but I will wear this new hat. <laughs> now, we don't know what hamburger restaurant they're gonna open. I mean, it could be a Burger King, or I guess in North Korea, a Burger Supreme Leader, or uh, <laughs> uh, could be a McDonald's. Although when they introduce the Happy Meals, that's gonna be weird, because they're gonna have to explain. They'll be like, uh, let me explain what meal means, okay? Now let me tell you what happy is, okay? <laughs> in other news, a new report on Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico has come out, which has found that the actual death toll from last year's storm was 4,600. Yeah, even though the official government count is only 64. I don't know about you, but that's, that's mind-blowing. Like, that's, that's not just off. That's inauguration crowd size off. <laughs> And honestly, when I heard this, it reminded me that we need to do as much as we can to help recovery efforts in Puerto Rico. So don't forget, you can still donate. And the good news is, President Trump is already doing his part. He just tossed them four more paper towels. Yeah! 